Let's learn about cell cycle overview with biology at click. The cell cycle is the sequence of events occurring in an ordered manner, which results in cell growth and cell division. All organisms even the largest start their life from a single cell. Growth and reproduction is the characteristics of all the cell, in fact all the living organisms. All living organisms, may it be human, plants or animals requires a continuous supply of new cells for growth, repair and development. The process through which these cells are generated is known as the cell cycle. The cell cycle occurs in a eukaryote somatic cells. Somatic cells are all the cells other than sperm and egg cells. Now, we know that living body is made of many organ system which in turn is comprised of many organs, organs are made up of many tissues, tissues are made of cells. These cells are comprised of many cell organelles. Nucleus is one of the cell organelles, where the process of cell cycle happens. The cell cycle is mainly divided into two phases. The dividing stage and the non-dividing stage. All cells spend most of life in non-dividing phase. The M phase represents the actual cell division phase and the interphase is a non-dividing phase between two successive M phases. The interphase is comprised of G1, S and G2 phases, which is followed by M or mitosis phase. The interphase is the preparatory phase, that lasts 95% of the duration of the cell cycle. G1 or growth 1 phase corresponds to the interval between mitosis and initiation of DNA replication. During G1 phase the cell is metabolically active and continuously grows in size but does not replicate its DNA. Cell increases the subcellular structures such as mitochondria, centrioles and ribosomes in number. Centriole pairs slightly move apart during G1 phase. Some cells in the adult animals do not divide such as heart cells, mature RBCs and nerve cells. Other cells divide only occasionally, when needed to replace lost cells, owing to injury or cell death example liver cells. These cells that do not divide further and exit G1 phase to enter an inactive stage called quiescent stage or G0 of the cell cycle. Cells in this stage remain metabolically active but no longer proliferate unless called on to do so depending on the requirement of the organism. Cells that need to divide further enters the S or synthesis phase after the G1 phase. During this phase, important events like DNA replication and formation of histone proteins take place. We will learn about histones in a bit. During this time the amount of DNA per cell doubles. If the initial amount of DNA is denoted as to C then it increases to 4C. However, there is no increase in the chromosome number, that is cell will have 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes even after S phase. Before moving on to G2 phase, it's worth to understand the form of the DNA. When the cells are not dividing, its DNA is spread in a thread-like structures called chromatins. However, once the cell starts preparing for divisions, its DNA takes a condensed form called chromosomes. If we take a closer look at chromosomes, they are made up of pieces of DNA called genes, each genes if unwrapped is composed of heterochromatin and euchromatin. Euchromatin is composed of repeating subunits known as nucleosomes. A single nucleosome consists of DNA sequence wrapped around a core of histone proteins. So when one cell divides into two cells, this DNA is copied, so each of the new cells will get an equal amount of the DNA as the parent cell. G2 phase is the third subphase of interphase in the cell cycle directly preceding mitosis. It is a period of protein synthesis and rapid cell growth to prepare cell for mitosis. The M or mitosis phase is divided into prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase, where the actual cell division occurs. We will learn about mitosis in the next video. Two important checkpoints during interphase are G1 checkpoint and G2 checkpoint. In the G1 checkpoint, cyclin-dependent kinases play a vital role. At this point, the cell also checks for DNA damage and other favorable conditions. If the cell meets all the requirement, the cell will enter the S phase. In the G2 phase checkpoint, the cell ensures that all of the chromosomes have been accurately replicated. If so, cyclin-dependent kinases signal the beginning of mitotic cell division. Checkpoints are important because, it halts the cell cycle to proceed in case of any damage or unfavorable conditions. If the damage cannot be repaired then cell undergoes apoptosis. Lastly, if the checkpoint mechanism is failed then cell become cancerous. Let us recap, about the interface of the cell cycle. Cell cycle has two important phase interface and M phase. Interface has three stages, G1S and G2 phases. These are preparatory phase for M phase, which is actual dividing phase. 
Some cells do not need to divide further, they enter the G0 phase after G1 phase. Lastly, G1 and G2 checkpoints checks the errors in the cell cycle. I hope this video helps to clear concepts. Please subscribe if it helps.